Greetings, Croce here, Raid Shadow Legends, free to play episode 60. Today I'll be talking a little bit about my progress in Doom Tower Hard mode. But for the beginning, we are starting with the, the a little bit different starting screen. So this is the result of the Champion Chase tournament that we had uh, just a day ago. And yeah, as you probably see, I finished on the first place. Uh, I decided to leave it, uh, start with it, and uh, talk about another tips, a tip uh, for free-to-play uh, players. And the tip is to just watch out and uh, yeah, be careful uh, regarding to the tournaments because you can get sniped. And you can also snipe, but uh, yeah, this working both ways. So here, let's, let's wait a little bit to load the screen. So we got the results for the champion chase. So as you probably see here now, so I've won it by 13 points, which is crazy. And yeah, so um, I calculated my shards, so I spent a little bit uh, gems. Uh, in the shop to just buy more ancients and I even use uh, one sacred to get uh, the rewards um, mostly because of the this big uh, soul stone so that to give five or six star um, yeah so that's the first uh, tip but the same is applies to champion um, training tournament which was also uh, during the same time and here and the situation was a little bit different, so I maxed out this uh, tournament. I uh, was also trying to watch what, what the competition is doing, but for sure the first place was uh, 35,000 of points, so I got almost 19. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a huge difference, so no chance for any sniping to get any good rewards. Yeah, so as a free to play, just try to calculate remember just to calculate your resources and try uh, the best rewards that you can so especially if competition is uh, not active so yeah okay so let's start with the doom tower so doom tower we got a rotation with this frost spider this is a specific one and today i'll be talking about last four state uh, boss stages so we got nether spider uh, um, Scarab King, uh, Magma Dragon and uh, Frost Spider. Uh, so this is hard version of the Doom Tower and let me quickly take uh, you through uh, the ideas of team that I was using to deal with those bosses. Um, so this is similar uh, composition with a little bit cheesy tactic. Uh, but cheesy it means because I do not have gear to build whole team to deal with the boss. So here I'm just using Paragon with um, Retaliation set plus tox Toxic. Yeah, um, and you know, that's the, the that's the deal here. Um, so the rest of the team is just to bring uh, um, Paragon to the final boss. So let's do this quickly. It should be pretty straightforward and I will skip in the meantime because this uh, fight will take like um, 20 minutes which is a lot yeah so let's clear those waves quickly and we'll show you the, the, the idea how to, to um, watch out in this combat yeah this revive after the, uh, the death a little bit annoying okay so now let's just turning off auto okay so i'm bringing here a reviver uh, so ancora is here for that rotalos is hitting pretty hard so he will be able to uh, clear the spiders at least three. Okay, and now so that's what you need to reach. You can build your um, Paragon very fast, but there is no need if you got other champions. 
Yeah, so and fr uh, from this moment you can do some additional damage to the boss to speed up this run a little bit. Okay, even more damage, why not? Okay, he, his uh, skill is once again reset because Ancora is resetting it. But now when boss will take a turn, it will start killing my guys. I can even revive again <laughs> Rotalos, make it a little bit easier, easier. Yeah, so... But as you see, he is trying to hit, but uh, the, the damage is just barely any damage. I need a very tanky team with good stats to do some damage. Yeah, so that was his strongest uh, skill with the hit. So without uh, max enemy champions that are hitting very hard, you will not do much. Okay, so once again some actions yeah and the cycle so cycle needs to be okay so let's ensure that the rest of team will die and only paragon will stay okay again unkillable yeah so i think you, you get the idea we uh, already took a lot of HP from boss. Ankora is barely alive. And again... We could probably put it on auto from the be beginning, but yeah. It could be tricky. We will need to uh, run the fight. Yeah, so and the dance will start. So Paragon will apply some uh, poisons. And uh, with War Warmaster, he will slowly just uh, remove uh, <laughs> HP bar from, from uh, Spider. Yeah, so generally that's the idea. Okay, so what I'm saying about the resources here. Uh, so uh, once again, let's take a look to the Paragon build. So he do not even have any piece of the gear, only one ring is six, plus 16. Right, so his build is very, very, I would say, not complete, <laughs> and this is generally enough. So yeah, you need to uh, be careful about your resources to do not overinvest in particular uh, things that even you are not farming this. Okay, another one is um, Scarab King. So here, <clears throat> why nobody is here on the lead? Uh, bring, yeah, so that's a uh, broken spot. Okay, so what we have here, uh, we got Vergis. Uh, so this is new uh, champion that I had to build here. And this is Vergis solo strategy. Uh, yeah, let's run it and uh, oh, maybe before running it, um, let me quickly find Vergis. And explain how I built him. Uh, so he needs a lot of uh, resistance. So currently resistance is uh, 331. Uh, for the Doom Tower I got additional 48. And from the Brogni it will be another um, 60. So I'm running over 400 resistance. Which is not needed. Uh, but yeah. Why not? Uh, some defense, so 4050k uh, of HP. And sometimes, uh, yeah, you need to watch out also with this. Okay, it's good to have a blessing for him, so emergency heal. Um, so this one will heal you, I mean, heal this champion when he will lose his uh, shield. Uh, very useful. And on his passive, he will be uh, getting um, shield every turn, and when he uh, HP drops below 50, he will get uh, continuous heal. So this is very important one, I think, because if this will not, if you will drop too early with uh, 50 percent and not uh, get back above 50 percent, so the run will fail. So generally you will need to just um, 
balance between this 50 so drop below 50 and uh, go up before uh, above 50 to just get this continuous heal so i'm running him without any regeneration uh, so no other healing uh, he's running with the speed and some destroy and the destroy set so uh, destroys will destroy 40% uh, of the damage dealt max hp of an en enemy um, yeah so Jen does the build also here is an army gear but we'll back to army gear so let's run it Okay, so Susie uh, is here to just clear the waves, but he will just uh, go, go back uh, to the grave because of the ref um, reflect damage that uh, some of the champion enemies here got, got, but luckily, yeah, we got this. Okay, and the question is, do I have a, um, cooldowns or not? We'll see. Okay, so as you already see, uh, where he's got his shield. Okay, so let's put another shield and let's start. So let's start with A1, so maybe some a little bit. HP burn, destroy max enemy HP. And here is army gear. So army gear in his A2, this is max enemy HP hit. And uh, he's also go geared with uh, destroy set. So his hit uh, already did a lot of damage to the boss in terms of sh uh, shield and now we will see that everybody is dying so Vergis will be using his only A1 so I disable A2 and now this is full auto and this will take like an additional 20 minutes <laughs> which is crazy and so Let's observe this fight a little bit, so we'll get uh, this continuous heal when the dr uh, HP drop below 50%, which will happen at some, some point in time. So far, uh, of course, Vergis is uh, strong affinity against uh, Scarab King, so I will see a lot of weak hits, so that's why this uh, run is a little bit safer with this champion okay very close and yes now we got a continuous heal right so uh, we dropped below 50 percent and now we got back to 80 percent something like that yeah so and this will take some time so generally this is the rotation here okay so that's the scarab king okay now let's go to the um, Magma Dragon, this one is pretty easy, um, so I'm farming this uh, now every day to get the resources from the Dupe Tower. Uh, the set here is not super, uh, that we like to equip anyone, but just this is just for the resources, uh, just to forge in the uh, forge, new, new gear and sell it, most likely. Um, the Okay, uh, the superstar here is Wixwell uh, because of uh, his uh, A1. Uh, so his A1 is just 100% uh, provoked to the bosses if you got enough accuracy. And yeah, that's that's the that's everything because uh, he's also placing each turn counter attack on himself. So now in even in first turn we do not have. Uh, provoke on the boss so now uh, till the end of the fight the provoke will be here and generally that's the, the, the whole idea yeah. so dragon will be attacking wix well wix will, will uh, reflect back with uh, a1 with 100% pro provoke and that's the end of this boss so pretty easy if you got the right champion if you do not have it i'm also running uh, I mm, came to with provoke, but you can get provoke and other provoke champions. So th this should, this fight should be a little bit easier if you got some uh, sust sustain like revivers um, and healers. 
so that, that's what you need. Okay, and the final boss, uh, so Frost Spider. And once again, we, uh, here we see this uh, green uh, star, so Armiger. Uh, okay, so let's, let's take a look to, to his build. How do I have him in the... He's here. Okay, so... Yeah, not crazy build, so he's... He do not have even 3000 uh, defense, but with the Doom Tower upgrades, no. Okay, so no, not even. Uh, speed is very also very low, so this is not perfect build, but it's enough. Uh, so destroy set, and so for the scarab, and and uh, low accuracy. So generally in this build you don't need any accuracy. Uh, for army gear. Okay, so what is the idea? Okay, so let's start. Uh, it will be a little bit harder to get through the waves, so probably I will pause. So let's start. Uh, so this is pretty tanky team. We got Weaver with uh, resistance, but I think the resistance that I have in this team is still not enough. I will, will be getting a lot of debuffs uh, from what I saw. We got uh, Reviver uh, Ankora, very good one, with uh, and cleanser, so two cleansers. Uh, we got block debuffs uh, from um, Brogni and Wixwell with his super kit. Yeah, so <laughs> what else? So the the, the, the tactic is just uh, bring Armiger to the final boss and slowly just uh, break him. That that's the tactic here very cheap so we don't have to build and a champion with HP um, burn uh, but uh, Brogni already as you probably see uh, got the HP burn debuff uh, but the accuracy to land it on the final boss is like 400 or more but, but very high very high so uh, I s we will see a lot of res resistance there uh, in a second, yeah, so let me pause and we'll back when we reach uh, final boss. Okay, so finally we are on the final boss stage. Yeah, and generally this uh, fight is full auto from the beginning. Uh, hopefully. Yeah, so boss is removing all the buffs that we are placing, he's placing a lot of debuffs. So that's when you need to uh, cleanse uh, of those debuffs. So we've got two, Ankora and Weaver. Yes, so, and we have a lot of buffs. So increased defense is on uh, Weaver and uh, Wixwell. What else do we have? A lot of shielding. But all, all of those buffs will be removed. So he's removing a lot of uh, buffs. What's going on? Okay game frozen <laughs> and probably as you will see now yeah so trying to put any debuffs on this boss so it's not possible so i barely saw any yeah uh, debuffs but now if you notice there was uh, 100 uh, no 500 uh, thousand so half of the million damage from uh, armiger and generally that's the trick here uh, so this boss will not heal, he will only heal when he will uh, get revived. Um, so what, what is the idea of this composition? Just to survive another half million damage, uh, the, the team that uh, is doing the damage, so if you take a look, so it will be like 2000 damage, uh, no, okay, so here it was uh, 100k from the War Master, but the rest uh, of the skills should be like totally minimum damage, right, so barely any damage. So to ensure that at the end, the final hit will be from the Armiger with his A2 during this skill. So this is half a million uh, damage uh, hit, which should be good enough to deal with the boss. Okay, so let me pause here and we'll back uh, at the end. Okay, so we are getting closer um, to remove uh, Frost Spider HP, the grant. 
Okay, so a few more turns. Uh, so once again, another half a million of damage uh, hit from Armiger. Probably you can build Armiger a little bit better than me to speed up this run. Um, yeah, so what is uh, important about the Armigar, so his A2 do not uh, require accuracy uh, for his block uh, revive ability. Join does the trick. Okay, so one more probably hit and we should be good. We'll see if this will work. If not, if it will fail, so Frostbite will... Uh, revive himself with uh, some additional HP uh, with half of the HP I think and we will need to start it again okay so probably one more hit and job done victory yeah um, so that's the trick so I hope that this will help you a little bit with the doom tower and grab those rewards so here we got um, sacred, so a lot of books, chickens, energy, yeah, to do your progress. Yeah, I hope it, it will help you uh, with uh, this progress. So that will be all uh, in this episode. So please let me know in the comment did you manage to clear this rotation. Yeah, and see you in the next one. Cheers.